Wallpaper engine costs 399 US dollars, and for some of us, this is actually too much. So I went on a hunt to find a free alternative, and this is what I found. An open source live wallpaper app called Lively Wallpaper, which is available only on Windows, by the way. In this video, I'll try to figure out if this free app is actually better than the wallpaper engine. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. First of all, what you have to do is go to this link, which I'll put in the video description down below. And while you are down there, you guys can click on the like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, of course. Now, once you're here, you can pretty much see all of its features right here. However, to download it and install it, you can click here on download button on this website. And here you'll be redirected to the bottom of the page. Now you have two of the options. First one is to download and install this program from the Microsoft store, or you can just simply download the installer and install it from here. And once you have the Lively Wallpaper installed, you should see the screen which looks like this. Now here on the first page, which is called library, you'll find plenty of the presets. And right now, let me just show you a few of these wallpapers, which are already included in this app. Now, every single wallpaper here, we can also customize. So for example, if I go here under the rain, and if I click here on the three dots, you can pretty much see here the option called customize. You can see here what you can pretty much change. You can change, for example, intensity, you can increase or decrease the speed, you can change the brightness, you can change the normal zoom, and then you can also change the background as well. For example, you have here a ton of the presets you can pick from. And here down below, you also have the scaling like the fill, blur quality, blur intensity, parallax scaling and other stuff as well like the 30 FPS lock. These are all of the settings for this specific wallpaper. However, for example, if you go to another one, let's say this one, you will have different settings for this one here as well. Overall, I think that the presets are really, really well made. Now here on the top, you have also the gallery button. However, this feature is is coming very very soon. I think that the actual wallpaper engine has a ton of presets or the wallpapers which you can also download. However, this one is a bit dry in terms of the wallpaper selection and what it has actually to offer. And I think that you can also find a lot of the wallpapers online as well for this application. And I will just show you how to do that in just in a minute. Here on the next tab, we have the updates option here as well. So if you want to update this app, you can do from this tab here. And then here we have this screen option. So if you click on it, you can see here which wallpaper right now is currently active. And here down below, we also have the placement method. So for example, if you have multiple monitors, you can also put the same wallpaper on the other monitors as well. Now here you have also the screensaver option, which you can also enable. So what you have to do here is to click Click here on this one time setup, you will be redirected to this website here, which is github.com. Here down below, you will have to download this file for lively version 2.0. So you can pretty much click on this and you should get the .zip file. And now make sure that you go to the downloads folder, which is right here, and then make sure that you extract the zip file. And then what you have to do here is to right click on this lively file, click on a copy, then make sure that you go under your computer, local disk C, and inside the Windows folder, make sure that you paste this file right here. And then what you have to do is to right click on it and then here click on the install. Now you should see the settings open and you can pretty much select here brand new screensaver option, which is called lively, and you can click on it and click on apply and okay. This is pretty much it, how you can enable screensaver option for the lively 
monthly wallpaper app. And now we can go back here to this option, click on the screen saver and enable the option right here. Now, if you click here on the three dots, you can change the also the theme of this application here as well. For example, you can click here on a red blue gradient and click on OK. And this is how this app right now looks like. Now, if you go here to the settings of application, you can pretty much change a lot of the features. Now, for example, the feature which I think is very important here is that you have this option start with Windows turned on. So whenever you turn on or restart your computer, the live wallpaper will also show. And then under the performance, you can also pretty much do whatever you like here as well. For example, for the wallpaper playback, you can pause it if you go, for example, to the full screen application or if you have different application in focus. And then here you also have the wallpaper settings like the GPU decode and other settings here as well. And then under the system, you can also change the taskbar theme. However, this feature is unfinished and the current development is on hold. Now, if we go here under the general once again, we can actually also add our own wallpaper to this app. So you can pretty much click here on the plus and here you can, for example, go to and create a dynamic wallpaper. So if you click here under the advanced, you can click here on depth wallpaper. You can add your own image. I will add one of my wallpapers here and you guys can check them out by clicking the first link in the video description down below, by the way. And here I'll click on open. And right now you can just see that you have the message download required. Click on download here and just wait a few seconds. And when that is pretty much done, you can click on continue here. And right now it will do its AI thing and create AI depth wallpaper. And now we can see here that we have this wallpaper selected, which is AI generated depth. Now we can also add a video as a background as well. If you go here under the enter URL, you'll have to go, for example, to the YouTube and find one of the wallpapers. And if you on YouTube search, for example, for live wallpaper here, you'll find pretty much a lot of the videos. I think we can go with this one right here. I will just right click on it and here I will go copy link. Now we can go back to the lively wallpaper app and paste this link inside. So with that done, you can pretty much click on this arrow right here and the lively wallpaper should extract the video itself. And right now here we can see the preview of the video and also the title. And right now this is how the video wallpaper actually looks like. If you click here on the three dots here, you can pretty much also preview the wallpaper as well. By the way, if you guys want to know where you can get even more custom wallpapers, you guys can visit this website or this subreddit. Here you'll pretty much find a lot of the custom wallpapers specifically for the Lively wallpaper app. So yeah, this is pretty much it for the Lively wallpaper. I think it's a really good alternative for the wallpaper engine. So for example, if you don't want to spend that kind of money, you can easily download this application, which is also free and open source. I think that it also has a great community behind it. So overall, I think this is pretty much it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will leave a link for a lively wallpaper app linked in the video description below. With that said, have an amazing rest of your day. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video as well. And if you want to support this channel even further, you guys can also join as a member. So with that said, I will see you all around in the next video. Peace.